Greetings everyone. Today we are looking at Agueda, City of Umbrellas, coming to us from 25th Century Games, the Deluxe Edition. This is featuring the Umbrella Project, and there is your design team. One of the five players, set up, 20 to 40 minutes, Portuguese version included. Place umbrellas, reveal your murals, attract tourists to your street, includes 20 metal coins. Decorate the city streets of Agueda with colorful umbrellas in this quick playing family game. Alright, so let's get this popped open. So first off we have the rule books. So here is your English rule book. Not much to the rule book. Your components, your setup, how to play, game end and final scoring, solo mode, and then all about art for the urban space, all about the umbrella project. Top scores, your credits, and then the back cover, and there is in Portuguese. And there is all that. Alright, what do we got? We'll get back to that bag here in a minute. You have four player colors. You have a navy blue, you have a pinkish purple, you have a yellow, and you have a turquoise. And then each one of these, let me just pop open turquoise. You're going to have a mural that will be getting set up. It's easier when you actually have the board in front of you. I'm going to guess maybe it goes this way and that way, like so. And then these will be set up on your board to correspond. So you're going to have yellow and green, blue and red yellow and orange. Then as you're doing this, you're going to be flipping over the mural pieces like so. Pretty sure I got this mostly right. Yep, and like so, I just have it upside down. So we'll just write that up. And then each player has a different mural. Then you have those, and you have your screen printed meeples here, and a score marker. So that is your player pieces again in yellow, purplish pink, and navy blue. Next up you have a bicycle that triggers whoever ended the game. And then you have these different color umbrellas here that will be getting put on the gold cards that I'll be showing you here in a bit. Here are those metal coins. Nice and hefty. There's one side. There's the other. Oh, and there's red. So I think there oh five colors. So there's the fifth color. Alright, so here are the cards that are in the game. So first up you have the solo mode, end game scoring. So how many points? Plus one point per umbrella of the most discarded color. If tied, choose one. And then you have the tour guide cards, which are the solo mode, telling you which ones to discard as you're playing. Next up, so you have your goal cards. So these will tell you how you're going to score at the end of the game. And then you're going to put a random color from those wood pieces onto here. And then for instance, this one, you're going to be looking at whatever color that is. If you have one, you get one point, two is three, three is six, four is four, five is two, and six and or is nothing. And these all have various different scoring mechanisms and different number of umbrellas they'll hold. So these all have one. So you'll put two of them there. This one has, these have two. Back to your ones. And then you have the Portuguese version of the cards. So next up we have one part of your player board. So this is where the mural is going to go and your extra tourists. And then as you flip over both parts of mural, a mural, you will get one of the tourists. So again, the different colors on it with, is shown in the awnings. And then you have your other parts of your player board. These are the bigger pieces. So up along the top 
is where your tourists will go. Those scoring tiles will go here, and then as you're grabbing the umbrellas, you're going to put them along here. When you cover up one of the paintbrushes, that's when you'll flip over a mural based on what color you put there. This shows you what you do on your turn. Pick umbrella, place the umbrella, update the mural, attract one or two tourists, and score or take a break. What's going to happen is if you have one of these tiles here, you're going to be able to put one or two tourists on here. When you do, you're going to score that color umbrellas across. If you put one, you choose a color. If you put two, you score for both colors along there. If you have them all full or you want to take a break, you'll put all of your tourists back up top and then these slide and then the bottom one goes up top. And then your end game scoring. The game will end when someone has filled all of these. The end of game scoring, depending on how much your murals flipped, the shops each score, and then minus one point for every empty spot you have. Next up, you have the player board. So there's the bank where you're going to put the coins. The umbrellas are going to be along here, and depending on how many you take, is you either get a coin, you get and take nothing, or you have to spend a coin to take three. You have your score track along the bottom. You have your two shops there, and then the souvenirs, basically whatever colors don't go on your shops, the rest go here, you add up all those and divide it by two, round it down. Then on this side you have the Portuguese words. But I believe that should be the same way with these. If you look on the back, you got your Portuguese. All right, now let's get into this bag. So a nice screen printed bag. I will say this has some nice size to it. My hand gets in there nice. There's a lot of stuff in there and I have no problem taking out a handful. But speaking of a handful, let's just lay them all out. Here are the umbrella pieces you'll be taking. You'll notice they're different colors and then they have different symbols and icons on them to differentiate the color. Let's bring a couple of these up close and they are really cool plastic, nice feeling, very chunky. So there are your umbrellas, and there is everything in Agueda City of Umbrellas. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next unboxing, if not sooner.